Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I am going to do a snowflake tutorial. I absolutely love cat eyes. I have been doing a couple tutorials with cat eye and I just love it so much. So I'm taking down my previous set. I actually had a Christmas set on and then for my pictures, I just threw on polish over them and you know, we're here. So I'm just taking a, I believe this is a medium coarse bit and it is a safety top bit so it is rounded at the top so when I go over majority of the nail I am able to successfully do it without cutting myself and then I take a cone bit which has a very dull tip and I get a little bit closer to the cuticle especially when I am doing many tutorials over and over again um, your nails can get really sensitive so I am taking IBD gel it's clear and I took my nails down not fully but I got them pretty flat and so we can build them up with the clear and then come in with that gel coat on top All right, so now we're actually going to build up the nails. I wanted that nice base, kind of that like first layer, and then we're gonna build it up. So I'm doing a slip layer here, and this is going to allow the gel to collect. So if you get it on your sidewalls, your gel will flood to your sidewalls, especially IBD gel. I do find this is a very liquidy gel. I would say this is more liquidy than One Step. If you've used Light Elegance as One Step and you know, I'm a one-step gal, it's my favorite. So I like to do this kind of in two layers. So I kind of do the first one and I get majority of the build. And then I take another kind of a gel kind of glob and then I run it down the middle allowing that apex to build there and that way i don't get flooding into my cuticle as easy and then i'm constantly flipping my nail upside down if i need it to keep that gel in the middle of the nail to where it gives that natural curve shape and then we're going to repeat the process on all of the nails
now that we've filed and buff we're gonna take this cat eye polish i do have a review on these i will link that above and i love this silver i think when i was doing my nude set i was like should i do silver should i do nude i end up with nude but this silver is amazing so i did a first layer and then i'm coming in with a second layer here and this is where i'm going to do the cat eye i didn't want to do one single layer and then do the cat eye because i wanted it to be super opaque especially since we're gonna put snowflakes on this i just wanted it to be really kind of oomph so I did the magnet sideways and that is going to give you that really kind of jeweled, like, like not hollow, but you know what I'm talking about. Like the, that really bright kind of shift. And so I'm going to do that on all of the nails. Okay, taking CJS24, and this is their snowflake plate. And I like this one because I had a bunch of big snowflakes because I did do a hollowed out snowflake. I have a Q-tip here with acetone to remove it. And then I come in and do some fine lines with some gel just to kind of, you know, make it look the way I want it to. And then we will do a couple different snowflakes down the sides. And then I believe the pinky is a full cutout again. So I will do another um, snowflake that's really similar to that one. All right, coming in with top coat, I always recommend two coats of top coat over stamping. And that's gonna wrap it up. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'd go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.